Hello, I'm Shelvin. We are going to see an overview of WPF. I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio 2008 Service Pack 1 as the development environment. You can have any other development tools like Expression Blend will do. So I'm going to file a new project and selecting the WPF application. So WPF is a new member in the .NET family. It is a part of the .NET Framework 3.0. And the WPF is basically based on vector graphics and integrated support for uh, graphics. And it is based on a language called XAML. In fact, XAML is not typed just to WPF. It is also used in uh, WF and the like. And the concept is something like this. Instead of writing a lot of code, the industry is moving forward to the declarative way. So, thing like this, it is actually an XML serialization format. The information about a class is stored inside an XML file. Just thing like that. That is the easiest way to know about uh, XML. And I'm getting, while opening the project, I'm getting an XML file like this with a window and a few namespaces, a title and a grid. What if I change the title of the form to something more meaningful? And you will see that the XML is also getting edited. Now I am adding a button. So inside the grid, a button tag is getting added with various properties. I can very well come and come here and set the properties that we will be seeing afterwards. I am setting the content to hello, name debitian hello. And just like in ASP.NET, you have the code behind file. So when you double click on the hello button, you are taken to window1.xaml.vb.csharp file. And here I am having the message box command. Let's run it. Unfortunately, I put one semicolon. And you're getting the output. Thank you.